Somehow NVMe SSD technology keeps getting better and faster, and in this video we're going to take a look at the new Samsung 9100 Pro PCIe 5 SSD. This uses PCIe 5x4 lane to get incredibly fast speeds, all the way up to 14,000 megabytes a second on the read and the write. Now in the real world, it's going to be really hard to hit those types of speeds at this time because there's not a ton of enclosures or motherboards that even support those capabilities. But this is going to be a fantastic future-proof drive that comes in capacities from 1, 2, 4, and 8 terabytes, so plenty of storage in these. And Samsung is really marketing this as an AI-ready NVMe. Now I do want to say Samsung sent me this SSD for free to review, and this is an initial impressions review and all the features that this has, so I'm going to keep testing this over time, put this through its paces in a variety of enclosures and real-world tests, and if I have any issues with this, you can always check back for a pinned comment or the description for any updates I have with this drive. But the 9100 Pro has been very fast for me. I've been doing a lot of editing on my MacBook Pro using it in the Sateki USB 4 enclosure. And these are very easy to set up. So you can take any enclosure, put this drive in, you kind of insert it at an angle, and then you push the little rubber stopper out of the way, lock it back in place. And now you've got this super fast and portable SSD that has a USB-C connector on it. But you can use this in any M.2 enclosure, and the speeds that you get are going to depend on both the enclosure as well as the connection type that it uses to your computer. So this one by Sateki uses USB 4, and I was hitting speeds of about 3,500 megabytes a second on both the read and the write, which is as fast as you can get if you're using a USB 4 or a Thunderbolt 3 or 4 enclosure. I haven't gotten to use this with a Thunderbolt 5 enclosure yet, but I'm really excited to try it out on one of those in the future because Thunderbolt 5 supports double the speed of Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3. The 9100 Pro advertises hitting speeds all the way up to 14,800 megabytes a second on the read and 13,400 megabytes a second on the right side, which is going to be double the speed of the 990 Pro. The big problem with this drive is just the fact that it's going to be hard to find enclosures that actually support those speeds. So depending on how you're going to use this, if you use this on a very fast motherboard that's going to support very high capacity and very fast speeds, this is going to be a great choice for you. But if you're using it with something like that Sateki USB 4 enclosure that I just mentioned, technically it's going to top off at the same exact speeds as what the 990 Pro is currently hitting, and the 990 Pro is significantly cheaper than the 9100 at the time of filming this. The 9100's prices are going to be all over the place depending on the size of drive that you get, so be sure to check the links in the description below to see what the current prices of this drive are. Now one other thing about this, I'm really excited that Samsung is offering an 8TB model of this because 8TB SSDs are incredible to be able to have so much data at your fingertips and so fast at the same time. I love using that because I can keep massive video libraries on those so I can edit all my projects at the same time, grab clips from different libraries. It's a blast to have a large SSD. But the 8TB version of this isn't going to be available until Q3 of 2025, so if you want the 8TB version, Keep your eyes open for them to be launching it at a later date. Samsung gives you a five-year warranty with this SSD, and the terms of the warranty are also going to vary depending on the size of the drive. So it's going to be 600 terabytes written per terabyte of capacity that the drive has. So the one terabyte will be good for 600 terabytes written, the two terabyte will be good for 1200 terabytes written, and so on. A couple of the other nerdy specs that you may not care about but you might also find interesting, this is a TLC SSD and the cache on it is going to go up as the size of the drive increases as well. So the one terabyte drive has a one gigabyte cache, and the two terabyte has a two, and so on. On the encryption side, this does support 256-bit encryption, so you can use your OS of choice and format this, use the disk utility, and you can set it up in an encrypted format to keep your data secure. You can also choose to use something like the Samsung Magician software, but I've never had much luck with using that on Mac, so I would honestly recommend, if you're going to use this with a Mac, format it in APFS and use the encrypted option if you want to have maximum data security. But just know if you encrypt a drive, it almost always decreases the maximum speeds that you're going to get on the drive. Another thing to note about this drive is there's two versions available. You can get it with or without a heat sink. And depending on your use case, you may or may not want the heat sink. And you need to do a little bit of research depending on what your external SSD enclosure or what your motherboard requires. Another thing that I would say to note about this is it does use the PCIe 5.0 standard, which is going to be faster than what most motherboards or external enclosures are able to handle. So you need to make sure that your enclosure or your motherboard are compatible with that standard, because some are backwards compatible and others are not. 
So make sure you check your laptop, motherboard, or gaming device and ensure that it is compatible with PCIe 5.0. Even if it's not able to hit those speeds, at least make sure that it's still gonna be backwards compatible with the drive like the 9100 Pro. One of the areas where this is gonna be really important is in the future with AI and LLMs is they're move more and more to locally based on machines. This is gonna allow you to load them at double the speed of what the previous PCIe 4.0 SSDs were able to hit. So even though we're not seeing a ton of hardware that's currently capable of running these, in the near future, I think this is gonna become even more important to have fast drives like the 9100 Pro. So who is the Samsung 9100 Pro for? Well, at the time of recording this, this is definitely a more future-proof drive than it is a drive for today. But that's not a bad thing because you can get the high capacity drive, get a four terabyte, wait for the eight terabyte to come out at the end of the year and have a drive that's gonna be good for a really long time. As better enclosures continue to come out, then it's gonna be an even better option for use with your Mac computer or you can also use it with a compatible PC motherboard to get amazing performance. Probably the biggest con to it is you are paying for some technology that isn't available in all shapes and sizes yet, which is kind of similar to some of the other NVMEs that are out there, especially if you just want to use this as an external SSD, then a lot of those are kind of overkill for that setup. And that is what I use them mostly for is just for external storage. But this is going to be a drive that's designed to run even faster than you're going to be able to take advantage of. So you're going to have plenty of headroom on the speed. And Samsung also says this drive is more power efficient than any of the other SSDs they've come out with to date. So this will be a good option for you to use for years to come. If you're interested in buying the 9100 Pro, I do have links to buy in the description below. If you have any questions about this drive, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the description or the pinned comment for any updated comments on the 9100 Pro.